Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. We get questions quite a bit from folks about trailer security. What's the best out there? What's the best way to do it? Today we have one that we're going to take a look at. This is a coupler latch lock. This is going to prevent anybody from be able, being able to connect to your trailer by the ball when you've got your trailer in storage. Another thing I like about this, when we lock this, we can prevent any accidental disconnections. So it's maybe accidentally somebody comes by, flips that latch up while it's still connected to your vehicle, you don't notice it and head down the road. It can be a pretty dangerous situation. Nobody wants a trailer flying at them as you head down the highway. So by using something like this, you can prevent both those things from happening. Now for maximum security of your trailer, I think this should be one of a couple different items that you get. If you're gonna be in long-term storage, well, this is gonna be a great deterrent, it certainly isn't something that can't be bypassed. We also have a coupler lock that will slide over the end, makes this completely unusable. That's another good deterrent. We make a wheel lock that'll clamp around your wheel. Now, the good news is all of these can be keyed alike. By having three different locks on your trailer to prevent somebody, especially in higher crime areas, from being able to get to it, it's really going to deter them. There's got to be an easier target available close where they can get a hold of it and take that rather than dealing with the headaches of going through all those locks that you've got installed. As you can see, we're going to have a rubberized end here. On the other side, we're going to have our chrome plated in. This is the end the lock's going to be on. It's going to come with two keys, a rubber cap. It's going to protect the lock, make sure dust, dirt and moisture don't get in there and cause us any issues with corrosion. But basically, you can either turn the key. I find that takes a little bit longer than just grabbing hold of that rubber end and turning it. See, it actually threads apart. I like the way that works. You're not relying on any springs in there to clip in or anything that might give you issue down the road. And you see, you just turn it the other way, and that's going to narrow that down and bring it together. Now, if you turn your key all the way tight, it's kind of hard for it to come out. So you want to come off just a little bit it's going to come out, put our cap back over. It is a double-sided key, makes it more difficult to pick. And you want to choose one that matches your coupler width. This one happens to be the half-inch span model. And you can see on this thinner coupler here, it comes right in. And there's not a whole lot of movement with it. I like that. Basically, that's going to eliminate a lot of the noise, I get these bounce side to side, you can get a little bit of noise. But it also makes it more tamper proof, that quarter inch part that's going to go through the coupler. You can't really get to it, you can't cut on it or anything like that. Now for some of the other couplers out there, we also have a 7 8 inch span. And we're going to have a 2 inch span. So depending on the coupler you have, some of them have the wider latch on top and then the loop that comes around that slides down. Some of them are going to be very similar to this, just a little bit thicker, or there are also some that kind of slide back and then will slide back forward. That's where your 7 8 is going to come in really handy. Now, if we were to use the half inch on a 7 8 inch width, it's not all that big of a difference, 3 8 of an inch. We could thread this in just a little bit narrower, or not thread it in quite all the way, still get good security out of it. It won't unlock, it won't turn without holding on to the key. That's the only way to make it work. So even if it is loose, as you can see, it's about halfway off without that key in there. No way to get it separated. Here's a look at that coupler I was talking about that kind of has that hoop that goes around the end. Certainly wider than just a latch style, so we're able to just slide that through, turn our handle, and as you see, it's going to come down really close there. There's a little bit of wiggle room there, but do a great job. Of course, nobody's going to be able to open that up. Now, an easy latch coupler is like what we have here. I like the longer one. Now, it's not going to go all the way through to where this part comes out, but it will go in there. It will secure it for us. You see, nice and snug, no issues. Now, when working with customers, I often hear that they do really like this style. I like, I like it too. I like the way it threads in. And after you know asking them a few times, how is it working out? How long did it last? 
Seems to be really good positive feedback after a year, two years of use. Still works like it did day one. Now the common questions I often hear when working with folks is, will it fit my coupler? And I think we've covered that pretty well. You should be able to figure out which width you're going to need and get the one that's going to be appropriate. And also, can I get it key to like, which again, we've covered that. We can get this key to like, we can get your entire system operating off of one key so you don't have to go through four or five different keys trying to figure out which one's the right one. Again though, like I said, if you're going to do long-term storage, I think having a couple of deterrents in place is a better idea than just using one.